Hi guys and welcome to another Watch Geek video. Today we're unboxing another micro brand watch and this one is from Foibos and it's their Eagle Diver. So let's open the box and see what's what. Okay, so there's nothing else in the box, I like that. This is the outer cardboard box. Let's open it inside. Ooh, I like this. This reminds me of the Aviate boxes, but this is even nicer. Very cool. This is like that, I don't know how to call it, mesh material that you find on backpacks and sports jackets. And this is like a rubberized leather. It's really cool. And look at that Foibos inscription. It has a buckle. Ooh, and it has a nice resistance when you open it. A pretty good quality box, I have to admit. Over here we have the warranty, probably, the instructions. Let's move all that away. And here's the watch, packed pretty well. It's on a nice pillow. Let's move the box away and unwrap this thing. Now this is one of those watches that makes you wonder why you're paying so much for established brands when micro brands really spoiled us by giving us incredible specs for the money. So this is their Phoebus Eagle Diver. A 300 meter water resistance diver. Let me just do this. Oh yes. Look at that dial. It's a green and goes to black. Now like I said this has incredible specs, but I just have to start, stop and admire the case. Look at that case finish. It's brushed with this beautiful bevel that's all polished. Okay, I'm already liking this much more than on the pictures. The pictures really don't do this thing justice. Look at that. Look at the bezel with the saw, tooth, saw teeth. Ooh, very nice. 120 clicks seems to line up perfectly. Powered by the Seiko NH35, a common common movement used by most micro brands. It comes with hand winding, hacking, but a very cool thing, they put a date on at six o'clock, making it perfectly symmetrical. And if you follow my channel, you know I'm a sucker for symmetry. I like no date watches and watches where the date is executed like this. Being a 300 meter water resistant Watch, it comes with a screwing crown that, as you can see, is signed. Very nice. And like I said, these kind of watches really spoil us because look at it. It has a hacking hand winding mechanical movement. It comes with a sapphire crystal with three layers of anti-reflective coating, but the coating is done on the inside only, the way I like it. And it comes with a ceramic bezel, and it's a glossy ceramic bezel, and I have to admit, I'm really liking it. As you can see, the numerals are actually cut into the ceramic, they're not just painted. You can actually feel them on underneath. Pretty cool. And I really like this shape of the bezel. Now the bracelet, solid links, solid end links and a machine cla machined clasp. So like I said, really we get spoiled by these. I mean, this is a $300 watch. Now there are some micro brands, I mean, if they put a, let's say a Miyota 9015 to, give, uh, to raise it up a notch, the price would probably go to 500, but at 300 for the specs given, it's really amazing. And Apparently, this is a 40 millimeter watch with a lug to lug of just 47, which means that it should sit perfectly on my 6.7 inch wrist because I like dive watches up to 40 millimeters. I don't like to go over that. I mean, there are some 42 and 44 millimeter watches that have really short lug to lug that I can wear, and the Tuna, which is 48, but wears like a 40. But let me put this on my wrist because I think this might be the perfect size when it comes to dive watches. Oh yes, look at it. It doesn't overhang my wrist, it doesn't take too much, it doesn't have too much presence on the wrist, but it is very nice looking. Look at it. I like how the dial looks deep because of the slight dome of the crystal. I like even the hands, the hands are, I mean the watch in general is very original. I like the hands that are very long, 
very simple, but they do have these silver tips that actually touch the markers they're designed for. The hands and the markers are chromed, I mean silver framed, and there's even loom, which I will try to test, but I will have to adjust the camera because it's pretty bright outside, so I don't know how it's gonna look. So just give me a second. Okay, so with the camera adjusted, let me just put it next to the light for a couple of seconds because it has been traveling for quite some time in a dark box. And let's turn off the light and hope for the best. I don't know if it's gonna be very representative. There we go now. Like I said, it's very bright, but the loom seems pretty decent. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Sorry for the shot, but like I said, it's very bright outside and even though I have my window blinds down, it just doesn't help. The sun is too strong. But I will be doing a full review of this watch with macro shots and a proper loom shot so you will have a better idea of how it looks in the dark. So far, I'm really liking this watch. The bracelet looks more like a, an Omega 300 meter diver, which is not my favorite bracelet design. It looks kind of dated. But it's okay, given the way they made it, it's pretty good. But the watch itself, I have to admit I'm surprised, especially at this angle. I really didn't expect this complex lugs and lines on the case. In the pictures it, pre it seemed pretty simple, but like this, it's truly amazing. Anyways, that's it. So thank you for watching. Like I said, stay tuned for the full review. And until the next time, bye.